So EA did bring out a lot of great stuff yesterday. We got new evolutions, we got a new promo. So there's a lot of action going on in the market. Some non-rares are going for crazy prices. So let's jump into it and let's make a lot of coins. So for this brand new FIFA, I have made a brand new VIP Discord. So if you want to join it, it will be as little as £5 a month and you can get at least four sniping filters in there every single day. Especially for the first few months of FIFA, I think it's going to be very, very worth it. You'll make a lot of coins and it's a good alternate to buying FIFA points. Here's a quick insight of how it all works. So if you join the Discord, as you can see on the left-hand side, there's higher budget filters, there's mid-budget filters, and there's also lower ones. And there's also filters that work all year round. So I cover all different budgets. So if you're interested, there'll be a link in the description. And if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments. And if you're wanting pack pulls like this, but you're lazy and you're stuck for coin, make sure to check out u7buy.com. They sell cheap and reliable FC24 coins. And if you use code MUZ at checkout, you will get 5% off. All the links are in the description. Yes, guys, and welcome back to a brand new sniping filter video. I appreciate the support on the recent videos and everyone that's joined the Discord. Big up to everyone. Um, if you guys could drop a like, that would be appreciated. And let's jump straight on into the first filter. We've actually already got it typed out. So we're going to start off with this bit of a higher budget filter. So <clears throat> Rudiger's dropped quite a bit in price over the last week or so, which opens up this filter quite nicely. So we do need him in buy now of 10,250 to get rid of any of the lower rated cards. That's to get rid of like Sula and someone else. Sula and someone else. But um, yeah, German centre back. And then we do need play style plus only on as well. Um, and that will basically filter two players right now. So it's going to be a special Hummels and also Rudiger. So these are both around, uh, let's find the cheapest. So always find the cheapest when you guys are watching. It looks, oh my God, that's a snipe, that's a snipe, that's a snipe, that's a snipe, that's a snipe. Oh my God, that's a snipe and I'm messing up. And that's the great thing about sniping. Some past special cards, um, they go under the radar, especially I'm recording at 6am in the morning. So everyone's asleep whilst I'm grinding hard early doors. Sniping a Hummels. Everyone's in bed, so I win that, even with messing up. Uh, so he should flip that for. I mean, what's he what's he selling for? Let's go find the cheapest. Um, but they're both around that. Th I think they're both around th 33 to 34. But um, I'm sadly going to have to retap out the whole filter because this game is trash. Absolute trash. Right, min by now of 10,250. Let's have a look. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's going for about 32 and a half quite easily as well. And Rudiger, so you're going for a couple K more, about 34 to 35, I think. Uh, but the good thing about Rudiger is he's in packs, so there's quite a lot of supply of Rudiger, so you should be able to get him still. But yeah, that's a nice little snipe. And it, like I said, it goes to show some special cards that are out of packs, less people are probably looking to snipe them or looking to pick them up, so a lot less competition on them. So a nice little filter to start us off. Some uh, all right profit there as well. Okay, next up, we are going to go over to... Do you know what? This is another Rudiger filter, but it's going to be around two players in packs. So it's going to be another player in pack, packs this time. Um, so we're going to go to La Liga. We're going to go to centre-back this time. Playstyle plus only again. And then this time, we're going to go to gold rare. So once again, I think they're around 35k or so, 34, 35. Uh, and a basically, is the player to pop up instead of Hummel. So we're going to go Rudiger and Araujo in this one. Um, so, I believe they are pretty much the same price. Rudiger looks like he's gone up a little bit since earlier, because he was about 35. But, uh, yeah, really nice filter. Both pretty much the same price. The tax up here is going to be probably about 1.7k-ish. Maybe just under 2k or so. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, but, yeah, give that a try. And uh, let's see if we could hit any, any real nice snipes. I mean, look, there's one listed there for 34. There's that many packs being opened at the minute. Because of like the new promo being out and stuff like that. It's really nice to snipe. And probably the best time to snipe of the week is Friday. Past 6pm. Because everyone's on. Everyone saves their packs. People have finished foot champs. Um, and everyone's opening packs. So the amount of players that get underlisted. The amount of supply and stuff. Um, the quick flips are insane. Like people are putting in the Discord. Like some of the profit they're all making. Um, and it's mad. It's mad. So... Oh, that's a quick tip. If you do want a, a best time to snipe, Friday past 6 p.m. is incredible. Uh, right, next up, we're going to go to a left-back filter. So I've noticed um, Alfonso Davies has come down in price. 
which he's not perfectly in this filter, but um, there's like four players around anywhere from 14 upwards really so Robertson's come down a lot in price as well so the main two to pop up will be Robertson and Backer uh, it looks like they are about around 14,000 coins right now um, and they're really nice to snipe alone but if we go to around this 18 to 19 mark we've also got Rolfo who she's not too much more she's an 87 and then we've also got Fonzie as well Fonzie is on his way down um, his card looks insane I know his defensive stats aren't the best I'll have to try out Fonzie. It looks a really nice card, to be fair. Um, and yeah, so Fonzie, Rolfo, Backer, and also Robertson. They're all like fairly similar in price, which is nice. And the tax down here isn't too expensive. So I could probably flip them, to be honest. I reckon you could probably sell for about 13750 without waiting too long. Yeah, because it's not even a page. So uh, probably sell it for about 12750 I know there's not a huge profit gap, but if you're wanting to make... 1k profit a card, 500 coins of profit a card, and get some quick flips, uh, then this filter should be uh, pretty good for it. So let me just try it without them in by now. I didn't even think of doing that, actually, because it would make the filter better. Oh, we've got gold rare. Let's have a look. Well, there we go. I've just opened the filter up even better. So get rid of the uh, min by now, boys. Go to gold rare. That gets rid of Guerrero. And then from here, we can literally just put any we can snipe them for as low as possible so if one gets listed for 2k we're in we don't get stopped by a min by now happy days so do that um and then next up he's gonna be so i'm gonna i'm gonna give you two filters here um they're not absolutely perfectly in price but keep an eye out on it and it still should work good but he's potentially gonna work a lot better very soon like i think robertson and trent I've been waiting a while for them to be pretty much the same price. And it's been a while because Robertson's always more expensive. But there's only a couple K difference right now. They're both 86 rated. I think it's only a matter of time. Till these two are pretty much the exact same 86 rated fodder price really. Uh, so Trent and Robertson to pop up. With the uh, the playstyle plus on. Um, defender Liverpool. And then like I said I think Trent's a little bit cheaper. He's probably about 11 to 12 right now. And as you've seen Robertson's only... Only a couple K more, to be fair. So if you do hit Robertson, you're going to get that extra profit. Um, how much could you sell Trent for? About 11.5. So probably snipe for about 10.5 right now. No min by now again, which is nice. Market's getting a little bit slow to snipe. But uh, yeah, give that a try. And let me know if you do hit any nice snipes. Okay. This final filter. So I am actually going to do a huge list in my Discord today, I think, um, of the best players you can snipe with a shadow and a hunter um i've given you a brief list here some players that should be really nice to snipe with a hunter and some are the best players to snipe with a shadow as well so give some of these players a try i've had some good reviews in the past i've only recommended like one or two players but i thought for this video especially i'll give you quite a few names um and you can give them a try um especially i mean like marcus Lorente at the minute a lot of there's a lot of demand for Marcus Lorente because of the new evolution. He is one of the he probably is the best evolution player. Um, so people are trying to snipe him, whether it's with or without a shadow. So even without a shadow, he's pretty insane to snipe. But uh, with a shadow, basically, it adds value to his card. So he's going for about eight eight point eight without a shadow. Uh, with a shadow, he is probably it adds about a thousand coins value, I think. Yeah, pretty much exactly a thousand coins. Um, like I always say though, it does reset the filter every time, so make sure to once you're back out, re-put the uh, chem style back on, uh, and then yeah, roughly about five hundred coins. Um, nine point eight, nine point seven, nine point six, nine point five, nine point four, nine point three. Yeah, about nine point three. So snipe for anything under nine point three, and basically some people just list the Lorente, forgetting they have a shadow on, like that. Perfect example. Um, they forget they, they have, have a shadow on. They'll list it for probably the same price as his um, without a shadow. And you can very easily flip them for nice profit. So there we go. Sniping for a few seconds there. And happy days. We've already sniped one. So it's one of the best filters that is. So try out a lot of these players. So Lorento of a shadow, Kamavinga. Chua Meni's a really good player to evolve. So he's getting listed a lot. There's a lot of demand for him. Uh, Cancelo's a really nice one. Saliba, Alaba, Kimpembe. 
And then as you can see at the top, you can do the same with Hunter. So Hunters give the attackers more value, like Jesus, Correa, Rodrigo, Nkunku, and Chloe Kelly. So give them a try. Like I said, in the Discord, especially if you're watching this from the Discord, I'm going to be doing a huge list that maybe can come back to all year round. Um, and, yeah, basically snipe players with Shadows and Hunters because they are honestly some of the best sniping filters. They're really, really good. Every FIFA, it's something I always go back to. I weren't going to do this, but for the final filter, um, I weren't actually going to show this filter because, sadly, I ripped this filter down to put it in today's video, but I went to record and, for some reason, they've separated in price very quickly. And that is the harsh reality of this market at times. Uh, but I'll recommend it anyway, so you can maybe jot it down in your brain. Or this might be a filter I come back to in the future. So, as a little bonus. So, German Special Striker. Um, and this is the only filter I found remotely close to the new promo. Because the new promo is garbage for filters. I hate to say it, but it is. Because there's two players that are literally 10k, discard price. And then almost the rest of them are all just way too expensive uh, but this is the filter anyway you've got a new foot centurions and there you've got uh, pop miss pop who looks quite good to be fair she's got five star weak foot and also mario gomez so mario gomez is probably about 10k less right now which is sad because they were pretty much the same price earlier so that's what i mean it's probably not the best filter right now but i thought i'd let you know if you're wanting a, a potential foot centurions filter this one is probably the only one that's remotely close unless Unless, I'll quickly show you, unless the, the two at 10k do somehow come up in price. Because there's Munyain and there's another one. They're both just discard, literally like 10k. If any of these come up in price, then we've got a potential filter there. But other than that, sadly, the Foot Centurions filter isn't the best for filters. Um, we are getting a mini release on Sunday, of course. So that could open up a new can of worms. But uh, yeah, and there we go, we've sold off. Hummels and hopefully Lorente does so soon. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you do want to join the Discord, do let me know. Um, well, don't let me know. Just join it. There's a link. Happy days. Um, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with another video as well. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, please do drop a like. Chelsea are early kickoff, so I'm hoping we batter Brentford and keep on our good form. So yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.